In Melbourne, the weather has turned from warm and very windy to cold. Jane Bunn joins us now. Jane, what temperatures have we had? Mitch, it was 20 degrees at this time last night, then dropped to just 10 at times today. So let's look ahead to summer. The big driver of this summer's weather is our oceans to our north, where there's incredibly warm water, so there's lots of moisture to play with. There were only three tropical cyclones last year, a record low, but we have 11 on average, and this summer should have an average to above average number. The rain from these, plus the already sodden ground after huge rainfalls lately, means there is an increased risk of flooding. And all this moisture could provide the fuel for a larger number of severe thunderstorms. But the wet vegetation means the bushfire season should start later. But when it finally dries out, there could be a lot to burn. And while heat waves are a risk in any summer, early heat waves aren't as likely. We'd had four days over 30 degrees by this time last year. This year, none. And it's actually snowing on the hills today. This was Falls Creek this afternoon. I'll let you know when the summery weather will begin soon. Mitch.